my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of FM19's The Hall of Famer. And today we have got a massive episode. It is the Carabao Cup final. And uh, my friends, above is the link to last episode as well. Make sure you go check that out and go get caught up. It's important you do so because we're at a stage in the series where I'm really having to think about how I'm going to fit everything in. Plus today, we've got six episodes probably left to go. So it's going to be tough because there's still loads of football. We're going to have to talk about it at some point in today's episode. Uh, for the eagle-eyed people up upon us, um, you know I'm a superstitious old soul. You know every cup final with West Ham I've worn the top. Have no fear. The top is under here. I'm just cold. It's really cold in my house. But yeah, we are going to crack on with that Carabao Cup final. It's coming to you in its entirety. It is just the Carabao Cup final today in today's episode. We've got a few little things to get caught up on and talk about as well. So let's do that. Let's play some football. Then let's talk about how this series is going to get wrapped up somehow this week. So last episode, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we played the first leg of the Champions League, the first knockout round, didn't we, against Barcelona. Um, since then, I've played two games. I played Stoke in the Premier League, a 1-0 victory. Ivan Franjic with the goal. We weren't really that good in the game, but still managed to win. Then we played Backburn in the FA Cup. We beat them by two goals to one. Uh, Hugo Bazama with a couple of goals, which is not something he's done very often this season. And that's booked us a place in the sixth round. And this is what I was talking about. How the hell am I supposed to fit all this football into five episodes? Um, it is going to be very, very difficult. Um... And a little bit of me is thinking I might have to do the Champions League first knockout round leg two off camera. It's not something I want to do. But our home form is trusted. And I feel like I could get past them at home. If I didn't egg on my face, it would be really embarrassing. But I just feel like I might have to do it because we have got so much football still left to play in very, very little time. So... I'll see how this episode goes, and then we'll see how things go, and I'll see if I can fit it all in. But my friends, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, a quick look at the Premier League table before we move on to this Carabao Cup final. Uh, we are top of the league still. 26 play, 22 wins, 4 draws, no losses. It's ridiculous. It's better than last season. Unbelievably better than last season, which is something I never thought I would be saying. Uh, we, no one in the top goal scoring. We've struggled, really, for one player to consistently get a lot of goals. I think Cotterell and um, Novikov are the two top goal scorers. Uh, Rob Dole is having uh, the season of his life. Um, I reckon he is probably going to be um, a Ballon d'Or winner one day if he carries on the form that he has. But yeah, 70 points on the board. I'm pretty confident we won't throw that away, but stranger things have happened in football. But ladies and gents, you're not here to listen to me whinge and moan about how I'm going to finish the series. And you're not here to listen to me talk about the Premier League either. You're here for the Carabao Cup final. It's Manchester City taking on West Ham. And we've picked a very, very strong team for the final because this is the only piece of silverware we haven't won with West Ham. So I want to bloody win it. So my friends, we are going to go with Kajon in goal, Fordyce and Alderetti at fullback, Alexis Chan and Vukasic at centre back, Adam Moles and Jamal Tejan are going to play centre midfield together, Cotterell and Overcove on the wings, Rob Dole through the middle, and Caratini up top. My friends, let's do it. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Caratini gets us kicked off in this Carabao Cup final. Uh, as we do with every final, the whole game comes to you in its entirety. Um, I don't know why, I, I don't feel confident for this one. Um, but early free kick here, Alderetti into Novikov, uh, that challenge came in. Miles now, needs to go wide, that's good. Full dice into Cottrell, run your man, get a good cross in, oh he does, Rob Dole! And it goes wide, I'm still not confident, I don't know why, I just don't, the Carabao Cup has been the one that's evaded us since we joined West Ham, it's gone quarter final, semi final, quarter final, now we make it to the final, I don't know what it is about this competition, I've just never been confident of winning it, as that is headed out by Manchester City now, if we can win this back that would be great, come on, actually close down like I've told you to, Good stuff from Tejan, because um, nobody else was uh, doing the job they were supposed to be. As Cottrell tries to run forward, he just runs into a brick wall in Celsa Louise there. As Bahia comes forward now, into Lissandro, he goes wide. And this is looking dangerous from Manchester City. Come on, win the ball, win the ball, win the ball. This is going in. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That was so close. Oh, 
just not doing our job closing the ball down there. But yeah, it's just, it's been that competition. And I don't know what it is about it, but we do well in the early stages, but the latter stages we struggle. And uh, we've not exactly been playing brilliantly either recently anyway. Um, so we need to be at our best to win against Manchester City as Novikov. Pings this one wide to Fordyce. That's a good ball. There was just no one in there. Miles, though, comes back to Fordyce, into Miles. Look at Fordyce. Oh, he had so much room. Fordyce again. That's a lovely ball. Novakov at the back post. And the old Russian is back to score a goal in the final. He absolutely loves it. He's been out injured most of this season. And um, he started it in electric fashion. And he picked up a bad injury. And it's just kind of derailed him. Uh, Barcella has come in. He's stepped up. Oh, wow. What a ball. Cotsrog. Oh, Caratini. I need Caratini to start scoring some goals. He ain't scored in about seven or eight and um, it's a worry the striker situation is a worry this season Bizama Caratini both got 20 goals last season uh, only Caratini's into double figures but hasn't scored in ages and Bizama just has struggled to find the back of the net as Manchester City draw it level 1-1 we I don't know we've gone to sleep we have a habit at the moment of just not defending that's into Chan. That was an ideal from Yuka Jean, but that's going to come out here to Alderetti. Now into Novakov. Into Alderetti again. Why are we going long? Oh, okay. We can go long when it works. That's good. That Oh, that's very good. And Jamal Tushan makes it 2-1. I was going to slag off the ball, but instead Caratini did well to get it. So, to roll. And we find ourselves back in front. And we are statistically dominating the final as well, as you can see. Seven shots to their three. Good amount of possession to us. Um... But Man City are a good team, as we all know. They've got some very, very good players. Um... Very surprised to see that the main man for them isn't playing uh, Mbappe. Um, I wonder if he's even still at the football club. That's one I definitely would have seen if had he left. But he's not even involved in the match day squad. Um, might be injured. As to Jan, oh, that free kick goes close. Whenever to Jan lines them up there, I'm always confident they could potentially nestle in the back of the net. As we have come to half time, ladies and gentlemen, and it's all looking pretty good to this point. I'm just really going to just challenge them to get out there in this second half. Got one hand on the trophy. Make sure you come away with it at the end of the game. Don't want to go up twice and still end up losing it. Um, got to keep an eye on Miles and Tijan, both on yellow cards. Cotterell, not having the best game. Um... I don't think I put Max Robinson on the bench, so it's going to have to be an inside forward job if we go in that direction. As Miles, though, into Chan. Just find someone, Chan. Nothing silly. That's it. Into Alderetti. Into Dahl. Into Novikov. Now into Miles. Now to Jan. Good football from the boys. Caratini. Where are you going to go? Cotterell. Oh! Dan Cotterell has scored one of the goals of the season. Beautiful build-up play. Tick attacker. Curls it. Top bins. Past Edison. 3-1 to West Ham what a goal Danny Ball at its best so excited we might win the Carabao Cup to complete the set I didn't, couldn't give a shit if we didn't win the FA Cup and Champions League this season uh, if we get our hands on this one that might sound silly to some of you but I have my reasons for it. We've already won them. And um, this is the one that's evaded me since I've been at West Ham. And uh, it might just be the League Cup. It might be the one with the lowest reputation out of the lot. But that's actually 3-2. And I'm getting way, way ahead of myself. Because that's Manchester City back in it. And actually, probably should have been marking up uh, some players here. Rather than chatting absolute waff, thinking I've already won the Carabao Cup when I haven't. And uh, I, I understand I haven't made any changes as well. I do understand that I haven't made any changes. Um, there's reasons for it. I'm not very confident in the bench. Yeah, I know. I said it. 3-2. It's been a good final though. Plenty of goals for the neutral. Um, but I think with five... Well, just about... Oh, what's that? Seven minutes. Bizama will bring you on. And Adam Miles, Sander Holshoff 
We're going to bring you on for him. We'll switch you two around because you're actually better that way. And we'll send them back out. Just some fresh legs on the football pitch. Um, but we are, but minutes away. Can we hold on and lift the Carabao Cup? There's four minutes of injury time, and I think West Ham are going to do it. We're going to complete the set as there's just 15 seconds to go. It's a good challenge from Alderetti. That's a clearance out anywhere we will do. The time is ticking down. Come on, come on. Blow that whistle, referee. Blow that whistle. Oh, my God. Man City are in. Oh, Novikov, brilliant defensive work from you. Now Dan Cottrell, he comes away with it. That's into Bazama. Is he going to seal it? Bazama seals it at the death. It's 4-2. Get in there. That's how you counter-attack, ladies and gentlemen. And the Carabao Cup will be sitting in West Ham's trophy cabinet this season. And it's another one too kicked off in the race to the top of the Hall of Fame. Get in there! Beautiful stuff! And it's another trophy, ladies and gents. We take it home. Carabao Cup champions this season. Get in there! Beautiful, beautiful stuff! Oh, I'm so bloody happy. So bloody happy. We've won everything we could have possibly wanted to win with West Ham. And this is all just confirmation of it, ladies and gents. Uh, we have done a famous quadruple because of the Carabao Cup, FIFA World Club Cup, UEFA Super Cup and the English Community Shield. Not sure, sure, not sure that counts as a quadruple, but because um, they're all the lesser trophies, I think. But uh, it, we'll take it. Uh, we live the Carabao Cup. Lovely stuff. Four two victory. I'll do the press conference later. A little bit of prize money leads us leads them to glow with five to two to win the cup. So one of the favourites. Um, yes, look at that beautiful stuff to make our way onto the list. West Ham qualify for the Europa League, but. If we win the league, which is looking very likely, we'll be Champions League next season anyway. Uh, payout to the of the players and stuff. Uh, runners up, Manchester City. Liverpool were the biggest underachievers. Um, best match was a 3-2 between Leicester and Burnley. And we can wonder as well at the overachievers. I'd love to know what round they got into. Uh, Joe Long, top goal scorer. Dan Cottrell, top assister. Lovely, lovely job. Get in. And let's talk about next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um... What do I do without next episode? Because it's getting a bit close. Um, I'm trying to think out about how many episodes. Do you know what? We'll do. We will do that. We'll do that second leg. I'm gonna do that second leg because I don't want to risk not doing the Champions League and we lose it because you should be involved in that. I said cup football. It was all about cup football this year. So you should definitely be involved in that. Then after that second leg, I guess we would push on again and probably do the next lot of Champions League games if we win. If not, then I would push on quite a bit, I think, because like I say, not many episodes left. Because once I do that, there's only four to go. So then I've got to try and fit everything into four episodes and we could potentially have FA Cups, semi-finals and a final. We could potentially have another Champions League final. I really don't know how I'm going to do it. I really don't. Yeah, it's going to get complicated. This might end up being a, going a lot longer than we first thought, but... We'll try. So there you go, my friends. We're done and dusted for another episode of the Hall of Famer. And my friends, I'm so glad you could join me as we won the Carabao Cup. Finally, we got our hands on that trophy. Uh, please join me again for next episode when we do do the second leg against Barcelona. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's going to be a very tough fixture. That's why I've actually decided to do that one on cam for you guys. There is the p real potential we could lose that game. Um, so that's it, my friends. If you're new, please consider to hitting that subscribe button it's really appreciated by your boy we're going to have so much content coming for fm20 especially subscribe now so you're here from the very very beginning drop a like on the video my friends if you've enjoyed it um please hit the notification bell button as well if you haven't done so already only about 20 odd percent of the people that watch my content have it hit that button and uh, it's really important that you do so um because that way you are notified every time a new video goes up on the channel but my friends i am done i am going to do something i ain't done in a while i'm going to salute all you legends and I'll see you all later. Oh, yeah.